Welcome back. We are continuing to see some smoky skies here in middle Georgia. This looking out right now on our 41 sky view overlooking downtown Dublin. Once again, the lowered visibility continuing for many of us. A look at our satellite and radar picture. You can actually see some of that even just to our north in areas of Atlanta. So we will continue to deal with that smoke as we head into the evening hours. Already got that unhealthy air from the air quality index. So uh, that's here in our area Atlanta over into Athens as well. We're seeing that uh, so you just want to be staying inside as much as you can, especially if you are sensitive to these fine particulates. So if you have the headache, if you're having trouble breathing, you need to stay inside as best as you can uh, near somewhere that's got the cleaner air. Now I will go ahead and say that as we are heading into our next couple of days, this is slowly going to start to filter down further to the south. And we're also expecting to see a little bit of rain to move in that could help to dissipate some of this smoke that we're already seeing out there for today. But the other big story was the heat today. 97 degrees, our high temperature, 94 normal for this time of year. 68 though, where we started out. So the drier air did allow us to cool off into the 60s overnight last night, but now everybody has really warmed up. 99 degrees currently in McRae, so that's our warm spot at the moment. 93 in Dublin, 96 in Forsyth, and seeing 94 here in Macon. We take a look across the rest of the country, though. It could be worse. Right now sitting at 105 over in Dallas, 100 in Wichita, 105 in Amarillo, 93 in Birmingham, and seeing 94 here in Macon, but we're also continuing to watch this area of severe thunderstorms as it works its way through parts of Tennessee and now into parts of North Alabama. So this is all generally tracking to the south and to the east. If it can hold together over the next few hours, we could see a few of those showers moving into parts of middle Georgia. So you take a look at our latest storm cast. Those showers and storms going to move into the Atlanta metro area by around 11. You see, though, as it moves into the drier air, it's already starting to break down. So once again, still could see a couple isolated showers overnight tonight by tomorrow. Another round of storms that will be possible. So I'm going to say some better rain chances as we head into tomorrow. That could help to cool us off. So our high temperatures right now just kind of based off the idea that most of us will be staying dry out there. So high still expected in the upper 90s for tomorrow. Thursday going to see kind of a repeat with another chance for showers to move in along that same general line. We will be seeing our increase in humidity for tomorrow. So once again, that is going to kind of help some of those showers and storms as you're heading into the rest of the week. But it's also going to really up our heat index values. So around 103, even up to 105 possible as we head into the end of the week. But for tonight, once again, mostly cloudy skies will be building up. We're going to keep the haze temperatures at 81 by midnight. We head into tomorrow, some scattered showers and storms possible with highs in the upper 90s. And then our really good rain chances really start to move in for Friday and Saturday. That's when we're going to see a good bit of some heavier rainfall possible, but even better, a cool down into the low 90s. In just 10 seconds, I'll look at our seven day forecast. At Volume Chevrolet, get oil changes for life, plus a 20 year, 200,000 mile warranty. Visit Volume Chevrolet, I 75 exit 187 in Forsyth. That's volumechevrolet.com. And here's your 41 NBC Active Weather 7 day forecast sponsored by Volume Chevrolet. We've got temperatures in the upper 90s and triple digits as we are heading into the rest of the week. But once again, uh, that's all kind of contingent on it staying dry. If we see an isolated shower here or there, that could help to cool us down. So if you win kind of that rain lottery over the next few days, uh, then you are the lucky person that'll get those temperatures a little bit cooler. By the weekend, though, we're back in those 90s. The I low like 90s. that. The rain lottery. Yes. Yeah, you can feel like a winner if it storms like your head. You won't win a billion dollars, but oh maybe you'll get a yeah. little rain. I'd rather win a billion dollars. Your odds dollars, are certainly better for that rain. <laughs> well, my garden would like the rain lottery. We'll take it, yes. Thank you, Cecilia. Here is what's coming up next on the NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt.